Hey guys, I'm uh, just putting away some diamonds, and uh, this is on my the ba Disney babies, and I came across <coughs> this. Trying to get them out. The oily beads. So I'm going to just, uh, I tried it out on another pack. I was on the phone for two and a half hours trying to deal with um, some personal business. And um, so I couldn't do a video when I cleaned the last one. So luckily... <laughs> I ran into another pack of oily beads that I'm going to show you and even, I mean, this is just as quick as the baby wipe in my opinion, but it doesn't have the drawback of getting stuck like the baby wipe does on the cloth part. So if you went out and bought baby wipes, don't worry, they still work. This is just for those that don't want to deal with having to spend all the time pulling all the diamonds off of uh, the cloth. I just went out to the Dollar Tree and I bought these good and clean disinfectant wipes. Spent a buck. I have it on my list to get uh, Clorox wipes at the grocery store when we go grocery shopping, but I was at the Dollar Tree yesterday, so I figured I would pick these up. And good timing. So these, this brand, it has a little bit more of the cloth-like quality like the baby wipe does, but I didn't have the issue like I did with the baby wipe. So I'm just going to dump them in here. Kind of wipe them off. If I can get them all out. This is two packs too, so it's a little bit more than... This isn't as much as it was when I did the, the baby wipe demonstration. Uh, that was like five packs because it was one of the large ones. All right, so I cleaned it all out there so the oil shouldn't be on there anymore either. And just rub them down. I'm just going to fold it into a little square like this and rub it. That's what I did with the last one. And I have a paper towel here to kind of dab it. This is the same one I used for the last package that I did when I was on the phone. Just rub it around. Kind of wipe it down. And they're starting to pop out. So I'm going to go ahead and empty it onto the paper towel. kind of keep track of them. They're really rolling around now. There you go. See, there's just a couple on there. Just need to scrape those off. Nothing like the baby wipe where there was a bunch. And I guess it just depends on how much of the rubbing you do to get it ingrained into the cloth. But I just kind of dab them Dab them dry, fold it over. And then I just kind of do one of these. Pour it into the tray. Get my one that fell behind. I probably could have cleaned it a little bit better, a little bit more, because there's two of them in this pack, but I just wanted to get you the, get the gist of it. Much better than that big clump that was in the middle, where it wouldn't move at all. So, I'll just do it one more time. I just was trying to do it quickly. 
See, those are the ones that still have oil on them. Because this is a uh, this is a different one, different tray than I used the first time. Maybe I shouldn't have been in such a hurry. Because I'm I'm trying to get all these put away so I can finish doing the videos the reviews that I need to do because that three hour phone call was just oh <sighs> kind of put a damper on my day I mean there was so much I could have gotten done in that time so just kind of massage them just clean them someone mentioned uh alcohol one time but I I don't know I mean alcohol dries instantly if I had alcohol in a spritzer maybe I'll try that sometime but I don't want to dump them the whole point of this is to not have to go into the kitchen get everything wet and soapy and then have to lay them out to dry for ever for hours um, with the alcohol, that would be, you know, dumping them, you know, sticking them in a jar of alcohol. You'd still have to drain it. Mess with all that liquid. I just wanted, I didn't want to have to mess with liquid. I mean, this has moisture, but it's not, um, so wet that. You have to let them leave them out to dry. All right, so and like this is an off-brand, so the Clorox brand might actually be better as far as uh, getting them clean fast. I don't know. I don't think that there's any issue I mean as far as getting them clean with this but the, the back side too doesn't have all these grooves I didn't realize that but this side is smooth and this side has like a little bit raised for abrasion abra abrasive so that you can clean stuff I guess and let's just dab them dry see how that went Kind of pushing on them to separate the ones that uh, get stuck not from oil or static or anything but the ones that you know get stuck in manufacturing all right so let's see I'll try this tray yeah that doesn't that might be the other one There we go. Much better. Yeah, the ones that are still kind of clumped together, that's from the manufacturing stuff that where they need to be. If it, if it's real bad, I'll use I'll try the pill crusher. I haven't done that yet either to separate them, but yeah. There you go. They're clean. They can be put away now. All good. Not oily. Even cheaper than doing the baby wipe method. There you go. So, just thought I'd show that in case you didn't see the conversation where I was talking with Grace. I can never remember the name of her channel, but um, she has a crafting crochet and she does some diamond painting on there, excuse me, as well. And she mentioned on my baby wipe channel, I mean my baby wipe video, that she uses a Clorox wipe. And as you can see, I think that does work better than the, not better, but it works better as far as convenience and being quick about cleaning them than the baby wipe does. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can use it. And I hope you uh, like the video. Take care.